my god, you made that yourself. You're so talented. And I'm like, uh, not really. You can do it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if you're a tennis subscriber, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be talking about five beginner friendly projects you can start sewing today. Yes, you can start making these projects and you can wear them. These are not just projects that you make and leave at home or show to people, but these are projects you can actually wear, show it off to your family and friends, and also be proud of these projects. So let's get to this video. Wait, have you subscribed to my channel? Why not? If you haven't, please, please click the subscribe button. Yes, now click it. Thank you. And I'm very sure you're going to like this video. You're going to enjoy. So just, just, just click the like button. Just click it before we continue. Mm. Okay. Also, make sure you leave a comment below. All right, let's get to the video. So project number one will be a bundle top. Okay. Now, when you think of the bundle top, I'm sure you're thinking about the stretchy bundle tops that you can buy from your regular retail store. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a bundle top that you make with cotton fabric. If you have the stretchy or knit fabric and you want to use that, great. But then for most people, when you're a beginner, um, the fabric that you start with is cotton. With a bundle top, all you need is just an elastic band at the top and at the base of the top. So usually a bundle top is cropped, right? Just a rectangular piece of fabric. You said elastic, this would be a really great project. It's easy. It shouldn't take you more than two hours to do. These projects are also hand sewing friendly. If you have the patience, if you have a sewing machine, all the better. So that is project number one that you can sew. You're a beginner, you have no clue about sewing, you've watched a few videos and you want to try your hands on a project that you can actually wear. This will be my suggestion for you, the bundle top, okay? Number two will be a gather skirt with an elastic band. Why the gather skirt with an elastic band? It's very much like the bundle top. The only thing is that you're going to be inserting an elastic into the band only. You don't have to insert it at the hem. Again, a rectangular piece of fabric. You also attach a band or you can just create a casing if you want to do something even that basic and just insert an elastic band, hem it and you have a skirt. So that will be the second project. It will be easy to do. It shouldn't take you more than an hour or tops more than two hours. If you're using your hand to sew, it shouldn't take you too long to do that also. Number three on the list is a maxi gathered dress. If you realize I'm mentioning a lot of elastics here, when you've just begun sewing, gathers, elastic is your friend. Again, rectangular fabric that goes all the way to your feet from your chest above your bust and it goes all the way to your ankle or on the floor, your feet, wherever you want it to um, be at. And then you just insert an elastic band. You can insert an elastic band or you can create a casing and you insert your elastic and you're good to go. You have a dress. You can also attach sleeves if you want. The recent trends, past trends, or even current trends, we have the sleeves that have an elastic. Those are beginner friendly. Just like bundle, it's the same concept for the sleeve. You can just attach that sleeve to your maxi dress and you are good. You have a dress that you can wear to your function. You can wear to run your errands. People are going to tell you they love your dress because one, it's unique and you can probably tell them you made it yourself. And you can you just imagine, oh my God, you made that yourself. Yes, you're so talented. I'm like, uh, not really. You can do it. <laughs> but anyway, so that is the third project. So the fourth on the list will be a tunic dress, a tunic or a shift dress. With a tunic dress, you don't need darts. Most tunic dresses just come with a bust dart and you can actually do without it. For that, I will recommend that you go for a round neck because a square neck or a v-neck is a bit more advanced, but you can still do it. You can make the dress either sleeveless or with sleeves. As a beginner, I'm not expecting you to be attaching a line into it at this moment. It should just be a dress that is easy, it's fun to wear, to run errands. For the sleeveless tunic dress, you can just use, I forgot the name, you know those strips? But then those strips that you use to finish your neckline or your armholes, they are stretchy. But then yeah, you can finish the dress with those strips. If you want to attach sleeves, I would say that use 
sleeves that has gathering. My second project was a dress. It was a tunic dress with a square neckline and I used the gather sleeve because I didn't want to deal with the setting sleeve. Setting sleeve is not big enough really. Gather all around and you insert it. It's really easy and it gives you a very beautiful finish as well. So I would say that a tunic dress with a gather sleeve, you should try it. It's really easy. It may look intimidating, but it is not. If you don't want to make it sleeveless, you can also make it into a kimono style tunic dress. You don't have to really attach a sleeve. It's just an extension of the shoulder. I actually made one like that in, in one night. One day I came back from work and I was like, what am I going to wear to work tomorrow? And I was like, wait, why am I even sitting here wondering what I'll wear? Why don't I just make something? And I made it that night. It took me about six hours to make it. You can make this without lining it and you should be good to go. The last on the list is pants with an elastic band. Yes, pants, I said pants. So pants is a bit more advanced for a beginner. What I would say is if you want to be more adventurous, you can get pants that you already own that fit you well and you can use that outline to make the pants. So you add more inches to the waist. So you attach your band, waistband to it, your elastic and you can just wear the pants without having to deal with zips and buttons and all of that. So that will be the fifth on the list if you want to be a bit more adventurous than the ones that I've already mentioned. So yeah, these are the five projects that you can actually make as a beginner and wear them today when the weather is no cold. <laughs> Show off to your friends and tell them that you also made this. You're going to be proud of yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you click the like button. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see from me and subscribe. Have you subscribed? If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.